Halong Bay is a spectacular dream world on the northern Vietnam coast. The name means descending dragon. According to legend, the bay's thousands of emerald green islands were created by a giant dragon thrashing its way to the sea. Life on the bay has a rich history. Most of the islands are steep, rugged, and uninhabitable, but people have lived on and around the bay for centuries. Caves hidden among the limestone grottoes once served as hideaways for pirates. But Vietnam's rapidly changing economy has affected life in this timeless setting. In 1991, Vietnam opened its border to trade with China. This introduced inexpensive motors for boats. The sales of the classic junks began to disappear, and a new way of life emerged for the people of the bay. Many motorized boats still raise their sails as a tribute to the long tradition of sailing. Captain Knott operates one of these boats. He's been sailing on the waters of Halong Bay since 1969 and has seen many changes here in recent years. One of the most dramatic changes that came with the new motors was the creation of these floating villages. The people here used to live on small boats and use the boats for fishing as well. They would also have a small house on the land. The whole family would live on the boat and travel for fishing. Now the families can stay here in the protected waters while the fishing boats motor out to sea. They have various jobs in this village. Some people own fast boats and go to the sea to catch fish. Some people just farm fish and stay in one place, and others have the business and services. In one of the bay's small villages of about 300, life revolves around fishing. Most of the fish are sold to the mainland for export. Smaller fish are used by the villagers for food and fish farming. Most of the homes in these villages are actually small-scale fish farms. Under the floorboards of their floating homes live hundreds of captive fish. Khan has been a fisherman all his life. Retired, he now farms fish under his bedroom floor. I live here with five generations of my family. When we all lived on the boats, there was the influence from the storms and big waves. It made our lives extremely harsh. Living in the floating villages is much better for me. It's better for my health as I get older. Most people who live here feel life has improved since the motorboats replaced sailing, but the changes are not all for the better. The motorboats are bringing more people, and pollution and overfishing are creating new problems. In 1994, Halong Bay was listed as a World Heritage Site, an effort to preserve the delicate ecosystem while maintaining a good life for the people who call it home.